Hey everybody and happy Easter. It's such a wonderful day today. We get to celebrate Jesus's resurrection. Jesus died but then he he rose again. And you know I've been reading a lot of sad news lately. There's so many hard things going on right now. There are a lot of people that are sick. We're not able to go to school and do things like we we normally do. Um, But we also have hope. Jesus gives us hope, so much hope, and that is the best news ever. And so today I want to share with you the story of the empty tomb from our Spark Bibles. It goes like this. It was early in the morning on the third day after Jesus had died. The sky was pink and red with the first light of the sun, but the women didn't notice the sky. They hurried to the cave that contained Jesus' body. Mary Magdalene and Mary, the mother of James, led the way. Two others, Salome and Joanna, carried the spices to rub on the body of Jesus. They had a job to do. When the tomb of Jesus came into sight, they froze. Uh Uh-oh, they had forgotten about the, the huge stone that blocked the entrance to the cave. How would they move it? The women kept going to the cave anyway. As they came closer, the women could see that the stone had already been moved away. They peeked inside. Oh, it was dark in there and brr, it was cold in there. Tripped up, it was damp in there too. What? It was empty in there. Jesus was gone. An angel appeared in sparkling white clothes. The glow from the angel brightened even the darkest corners of the cave. The women shielded their eyes from the blinding light. Don't be afraid, the angel said. Jesus isn't here. This is a place for the dead. Jesus is alive. Hurry, the angel said. Go tell the disciples. The women did not delay. They ran to tell Jesus' friends what they had seen and heard. Oof! Mary bumped into a man, tripped and fell at his feet. Wait, she knew those feet. A familiar hand reached out to help her. Wait, she knew that hand. And so then she looked up and, you know what? She knew that smile, too. It was Jesus. Hello, friends, Jesus said. Jesus was really alive. The women hugged his feet and shouted with joy. Go tell the others the good news that I am alive, Jesus said. I will meet them in Galilee, and I can't wait to see them again. So the women had a new job to do. They had to tell everyone that Jesus was alive. My friends, this is the best news ever. Jesus is alive. He was resurrected. He he was dead, but now he was alive again. And with that resurrection, we have hope as well because we receive that too. It's a wonderful thing. We all receive God's love. We all receive God's hope, no matter what, because what Jesus did for us. This is good news. This is great news. This is the best news ever. And so to uh, celebrate that good news, Lauren and Naomi are going to help us sing some of our favorite songs. Hey, everybody at home. It is Miss Lauren and Miss Naomi, and we are here to sing you some church music. After practicing all that social distancing, we can still praise God at home. This song is Psalm 25, otherwise known as, To You, O Lord, I Lift Up My Soul. Ready? To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. In you, I trust, O Lord.
Everlasting love. I'm here with my pup Luna, and you know what? I have a challenge for you. Uh, in the story, um, the women had a job. They had to share the good news that Jesus was alive and that God loved everyone. And so I want you to share in that job and that challenge this week too. Tell someone you love them. Tell them that God loves them too. Hey Luna, I love you, and Jesus loves you too. Now go and share that good news with your family and your friends as well. Maybe you could call up your, your grandma or your grandpa. Maybe you could uh, tell your brother or your sister too. Now let's close in some prayer. Repeat after me. Dear God, thank you for today. Thank you for Jesus. We love you. And all God's children said, Amen. Thanks, Luna. Thanks, kids. We'll see you soon.